Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A, where we go over all the latest tech news during the week and answer your questions live. Now, first of all, I do want to apologize because um, my throat is still very bad. I've been sick all week, that's why the lack of videos. <clears throat> trying to get over it and try, I will try to hold out as long as I can today, uh, but just know that going in. Uh, first bit of news I just want to talk about is um, a lot of you guys have asked me over the years to, hey, you know, what tech gear do you use? And it's a lot, I, and I switch a lot. So what I decided to do is uh, to basically have you guys always uh, have that available on every single video is uh, we have launched an Amazon store. So basically you can see every single electronic that I personally use or we use at the studio or that we reviewed and still kept. Uh, so if we reviewed it and no longer have it, it's not going to be here. So <clears throat> just to give you an idea of these are all the ones that, you know, have stayed true and true uh, through all this time. So a lot of stuff and it gives you an idea of some of the stuff we are going to be reviewing soon. So some things that we haven't checked out yet are already here. So uh, definitely take a look at it. It's always gonna be in the link in the description from now on. And of course this is an affiliate link. So just as always, just so you guys know, Basically, anytime you buy uh, anything after clicking the link, you don't even have to pick any of these things, but anytime you buy anything after clicking the link on Amazon, it helps out the channel. All right, now let's get to the news. So the first big news that like, I immediately posted a Twitter response to this because I was like, oh my God, don't mess this up, Samsung. And uh, Samsung has filed a patent. Now patents sometimes never come to the light of day, and sometimes they are what the next year's phone's gonna be. <clears throat> there is a patent for a notch style phone from Samsung. This is very scary and it isn't outdated. Um, it, I would say it is a, it's a semi outdated notch style too because of the fact that this has antenna bands through the back and Samsung's still gonna use glass phone. They're not gonna go to metal. So I don't think this is to date, hopefully not, but I just know, I thought of all of you guys and just really, really thought like, man, how can this really be that like Samsung would try this? Because I, I, I've heard so many of your outcries, uh, just like me, that like if a phone has a notch, you either won't buy it or you hate the fact that it would have it. So this is a really big thing because Samsung is pretty much the one that has said no to the notch. But if they would say yes to the notch, maybe next year, how would you guys feel about that? Because I, for one, would be very upset. And I honestly, mm, I, it's not that I would skip the phone because I wouldn't skip the phone because I'm a YouTuber, so I have to review it, right? But I would probably not make it my daily driver. That, that, is, that is something I would definitely say. I might not, I might not make my daily driver. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm really curious to see if you guys have been, you guys have told me repeatedly that you guys do not like the notch. Let me know in the comment section. Well, is the notch a make it or break it for you? Let me know. Now in other news from Samsung, we are getting more details about the foldable device, which is of course the Galaxy X smartphone. Um, and this phone will basically bend into a tablet of sorts, or at least a bigger screen size. You're talking about a seven inch screen. Um, but the big thing is we're hearing that it's expected actually early next year now, uh, instead of the end of this year. So many analysts, uh, including myself actually, and I'm still somewhat, uh, basically going with this, that really the whole big thing is that we're going to start seeing that as soon as we get to um, the note, the new note, so the Note 9, as soon as the Note 9 is announced, with that will come the announcement of the Galaxy X, and then it will come out in November or December. Uh, even though it'll be announced in August, I think it will, or July even, I think you're really gonna get it uh, way, way down the line, but you will get it this year. Now with this report is saying that actually no, Samsung might have to push it back all the way to next year. 
So that is a very interesting thing. I just don't know what it's gonna be. Um, and if it's going to happen, because I would say it would be kind of foolish for Samsung to say, launch it at CES or MWC, when that's the same time they announced their S10. I don't think they would want to take away from their S10. And I think doing a Galaxy X and an S10 at the same time might have people split on which one they're gonna get. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the Galaxy X should come out in between the Note 9 and the S10 or should it come out with the S10? Let me know your guys' thoughts. And we also get more information on the Galaxy X and that is it's mainly going to have a Note 8 style design in terms of how the design will be in terms of the look. But of course, it's gonna be plastic on the back and plastic on the front in order to have that bendable style. So you can actually bend it and fold it into itself. So it's gonna be very curious to see how, again, this will work overall. This still design uh, that we are hearing more and more about, I personally don't like. I prefer the phone opening into a tablet uh, with a wide open instead of a narrow open or a tall open but let me know what you guys think. I think that it's gonna be interesting, but it will be interesting to have a phone basically half this size kind of thing uh, folded in. I don't know, it's gonna be like a flip phone back again. I'm curious to see how it'll be or what benefits it'll have. That's the biggest thing that I'm curious about. I think no matter what though, the bendable factor will be interesting. All right, and speaking of the S10, as we were talking about recently, uh, we do have information that basically what you can expect is, a, a scan is still infinity display, of course, why would they go away from that? 3D camera sensors uh, built into it, and an in-display fingerprint sensor. Everyone might still not be on board with, is the Note 9 gonna have an in-fingerprint display uh, scanner? But everyone agrees that the S10 will. That's just, that, that's just like, it will have it. Uh, and it needs it to be a big differentiator, but I still say the Note 9 needs it more, but I'm curious, uh, do you think it would be better off if the Note 9 just has a fingerprint scanner on the back? And will that make you upgrade from the S9 if it's very similar in terms of its design to the S9? Uh, frankly, I think I need a, a little bit more for my Note this year just because the S9 wasn't too big of a difference besides the camera on the S8 Plus, so I really just want something more for my Note. And I think if we're paying about a thousand bucks, I think we should get it. And in other news, this is very interesting. So the whole thing about, you know, the US and, car and carriers no longer carrying certain Chinese makers, such as Huawei and ZTE, which they've carried for years. I, I do want to point this out, for years. It's not just because, oh, Huawei was trying to get a flagship and now, these brands have been carrying these devices for years. ZTE still makes hotspots for AT&T and other companies such as that. So really, they, they're in the thick of it. However, the big thing about this is, is because ZTE is, uh, had this whole mishap with the US, Android is now thinking about removing their license from ZTE, so ZTE could no longer make Android phones. That is a big deal because in a sense, Google could single-handedly make ZTE lose millions, if not billions of dollars with that one ruling. So it's very curious to see if Google will go forward with this and think that, yeah, ZTE did violate this and therefore they are no longer gonna be able to make Android smartphones. Very curious, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think Google should take this big of a, a jump and just take the entire license away? Or maybe just have them pay a fine? I think a fine would be more likely. I mean, it's it's kind of, that would be really messed up. You're essentially putting a company, not out of business, but in really hard, uh, an uphill battle, definitely. Because uh, they can't make their own operating system and do so much like that, that quickly. It, it just really, it takes them out of the game immediately. So I'm very curious to see how that will go, but it, it could be a big, big, big hit to their revenue. All right. Now in other news, it is official that OnePlus is partnering with the Avengers movie. 
We don't know how, though. We know that most likely it will be announced next week how they're going to be uh, connected, but we don't know how they will be connected. And it's interesting because the OnePlus 6 doesn't come out till the following month, right? It doesn't come out till the following week, rather. You're going to get Avengers come out next Friday, and then I think the Friday after or so, um, May 5th, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be when the OnePlus 6 comes out. And for me, that better be what it is because I, I first of all, OnePlus 6 Avenger theme phone, I will buy like that. OnePlus 5T Avengers phone, what's the point? It, it's too, I mean, you can't, you can't launch an old phone, or relaunch an old phone the same week that you're launching a new one like it just doesn't make any sense for anyone to buy the 5t no matter how cool the avengers theme is let me know what you guys think i personally think like i will buy this instantly i will buy a one plus six avengers theme phone instantly good you, you have my money take it, it it's definitely going to be purchased by me but i just don't see any point of making a one plus 5t avengers theme phone let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Again, the, f the movie comes out next week. We will be doing a movie review for it, of course. And I'm very curious to see if OnePlus 6 will have its own themed Avenger phone. I, I, I literally, I'm just, I'll buy it instantly. Like, I, I love the idea of it. I want more of these special phones like Samsung has had over the past years to come more to the US. I think that they're leaving money on the table as the saying goes because they're not jumping on board. All right, now someone asked me about this on last week's episode, so I thought I'd bring it up on, there was talks and rumors going about, again, about Mac OS and iOS merging. Tim Cook came out this week and said, no, that is still not happening. Now, this falls in line with what he said before. He has said this plenty of times. They are not interested in merging the two. They want to keep each two separate even though I still mainly think that Mac OS just needs touch and capability and call it a day. Um, you know, people always say about the, oh, well, uh, MacBooks have the best trackpad. I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather use a touch screen than a trackpad. That's just me. Um, another news, we have the G7 having uh, the a dedicated Google Assistant button. I think this is a great idea, but overall, I think most of us would just appreciate any dedicated button. Like, just give us a dedicated button that we could do whatever we want with. Whether that be launching the camera, whether that be Google Assistant, whether that be whatever it is. I think that's what I would want to see more than anything else. And very curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it. I, I really just would i'm tired of like oh well this company is doing a dedicated button for this this company is doing a dedicated button for this why don't you just give us another button and let us decide what we want to do with it that's just me all right now this news oh my god funny enough you know who like google break this news the verge the verge who we talked about last week uh basically was the one to break this news now it was a really great video so i do recommend you go ahead and check out that video uh but basically google is once again creating a new chat to compete with ios now to give you an idea we've gone through first of all i'm not going to mention any of the ones before hangouts because no one remembers them or ever used them really but you have hangouts that was the first one it was the best one still to date by far then you have allo then you have, or sorry, first you, then you had Android messages, then you had Allo. These are three different text messaging apps that Google has dedicated time and money to and then has immediately dropped. This is the fourth one. Um, basically what this is, is a replacement for text messaging and normal text messages are called SMS and MMS. SMS is your standard text message and MMS is a multimedia uh, message. So basically what it is, is uh, basically anything with a photo, video, anything with like a voice, anything basically other than a standard text message that's over 160 characters, that is what a uh, MMS is. Now, this is an entirely different technology that Google has already had every US carrier, every big US carrier, 
and every uh, big manufacturer of Android to sign up for. So they have already got their commitment and they should have their uh, phones all have them by next year. What this is, is it's just called chat. It will be a default text messenger on every Android phone from here on out by the end of next year, or at least one of them. Now it's not clear if you're gonna get the two messages from some companies, right? Like Samsung, for instance. Samsung might have their own text message app and they might have chat on board and you get to decide which one you wanna use, which is stupid. They should just leave chat alone, but whatever, we'll see. Here's the big thing about it. So instead of SMS or MMS, this new standard is gonna be called RCS. Now it's going to be just like a text message, but it basically uses data. So what that means is it's completely able to uh, text through data. So you're not gonna have any limitations. You're gonna be able to see when someone has read what you typed. You're gonna be able to send bigger files, no problem. It's gonna be a lot better than what we currently have. Most likely we will also be able to, because this is supported by Windows, you're also most likely going to be able, and of course Google, you're most likely going to be able to do this on your computer as well, and as well as your, um, as well as your Chromebooks. So it's really great that this is going to be all around everywhere. Now, here's the interesting part. You're actually the only person that does currently not support, is not signed on for this RCS expansion throughout next year, is Apple. So when Apple, when you send a text message to Apple, Apple's going to have the uh, green bubble as it were. Uh, basically it will show that they are not on RCS. Um, and I think that's really interesting because it's gonna be a reverse of what we've had for many years. Apple will actually be the odd one out. And the reason why I say they're the odd one out is because no matter what, way more people have Android across the world. Whereas yes, the US is populated by a Apple, it still does not compete on the global scale. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if Apple will adopt this technology as well alongside their iMessage. Now, the, the thing that makes me the most pissed off about this, honestly, is Google said, well, we want to remain open. So that's why we just didn't create our own iMessage and decided to instead work with everyone in order to come up with something. This is my problem with that. Who cares what anyone else thinks? You should not need to be open. In fact, you should have created your own iMessage competitor directly against it and, be, and told everyone, look carriers, this is what's gonna be on every single Android phone on messages. And if you don't wanna carry a phone, good luck to you. Like, it's just that easy. Like, it really is that easy to tell that to every manufacturer, to every carrier, because you know what? It's what Android needs. It's for the greater good of Android. Um, and the main downside of this, again, reported by The Verge, is that RCS, because it's still going through data and through the carriers, it is not encrypted. Like Hangouts was, like all of their other instant messengers, like Allo is, all of these other instant messengers that Google has had have been encrypted because it's been Google end-to-end -end encryption. This will not be encrypted, which means, uh, just to give an example, like they did on The Verge, basically they can say uh, the ability, hold on one second, let me just The mic this. is muted. Um, they can basically do something where they announce uh, through, every, uh, they announce to everyone, right, that, oh, any text message you have, well, if the government subpoenas it, those are right there because they weren't encrypted. Whereas if the government subpoenaed to see your hangout messages or to see other ones like that, it's an, an encryption. They can try to have Google just turn it over and Google doesn't have to because they can't because of the encryption level. So that is my big thing about it, uh, the downside of it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys at least think as I do, this is a step in the right direction? I don't think it's quite there yet but I do think it is a step in the right direction. And finally, the last bit of news that came out uh, fairly recently was the fact that again, once again, eh, this has happened where LG cannot produce as many of the iPhone screens that Apple requested. So yet again, they are going back to Samsung. This has happened several times. Uh, you have to remember, I, I've been talking about this for a long time. 
Apple's been trying to get rid of Samsung because of they're, they're the biggest competitor to them since I want to say the iPad 2. Th that's how long Apple has been trying to get rid of Samsung as their main supplier. The problem is, is that no one else, and believe me, they've tried. LG, Sharp, Sony, like everyone they've been able to try, Toshiba, everyone they've tried with to get rid of Samsung. But Samsung is the best at making products quicker than anyone else. They are the best at manufacturing when it comes to screens and processors and RAM. I mean, they're, they're, they're one of the best at, but mainly when it comes to screens and when it comes to processors, no one can output as much as they do. And Apple's tried to get rid of them once again, and it's not gonna happen. Again, the iPhones will have to have Samsung screens, which Apple's not too happy with because they were trying to get Samsung to lower their price. Samsung didn't want to, at least to the extent that Apple did and here we are so let me know what you guys think about that all right guys so that was all the news for this week now let's get to your questions again my voice is about 50 percent now after that long ramble so just to let you know if i have to quit early i do apologize but i want to save my voice so i can do videos this week I love Samsung since the S3, but if if they notch the note, we're gonna have a breakup. <laughs> it, it's it's the end of the road, huh? For you and Samsung, if they notch it, don't notch it, Samsung. Uh, by the way, much love, keep up the good work, thank you. I have Samsung uh, Gear Icon X 2018. For some reason, when I turn on the ambient sound, it turns off after one or two minutes. Any fix them with this? I've actually not used those, to be honest. I know a couple of have requested me to use them. Every month we've just had different products come in, so I haven't got a chance to. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know why it would be. I, the only thing I would recommend is to keep checking if there are software or hardware updates in your gear app, because normally I swear the automatic updates do not go through and you have to manually do it. So try that. Uh, more and more YouTube tech people saying Apple leaks almost uh, non-existent this year. Um, more, more saying that, but well, it's because they fired a lot of them. A lot of the leakers got fired. That's one of the biggest reasons why they're probably saying that. But I still think it's going to happen. Again, we don't normally get Apple leaks till June. Traditionally, Apple always starts leaking around June. So when we get to June, we'll find out. Uh, I'm hearing Android P to look uh, a lot like iOS running an iPhone X. I don't know about that. I do know it has notch support and it will have some gestures, uh, but thankfully I'm not gonna use any of those gestures because I have Nova um, and it has better gestures than, uh, than iOS 11 for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, I just, we'll see how it goes. I'm very curious, but we'll find that out next month. Um, I have a Samsung S7 Edge. My carrier is AT&T. Do you know if AT&T plans to update to Android 8? Thanks. Um, for the S7 Edge, I think it might eventually get to use phone. Uh, no time soon though, I wanna say. I wanna say the S7 Edge wouldn't get it till like late summer. I, for one though, would never, ever, ever Put it on uh, Android 8 on a 7 Edge. Your phone is gonna run slow. It's going to uh, have lots of crashes. The thing is, and look at our video, we did a tech rant on why fragmentation is the best thing ever for Android. Newer OSs do not work well on older phones. They don't. So it's a good thing that your phone doesn't upgrade to the latest software so quickly, because guess what? By the time it does, your phone's gonna run really bad and then you're just gonna end up upgrading in about one or two months anyway. Uh, newer updates do not run well on smartphones and they just never do because that hardware is not made for that software, plain and simple. They try to tweak it as much as you can, but especially for Android where carriers uh, get involved and delay everything and, ha and create their own set of issues, it's just not worth it, so yeah. All right. Um, I'm hearing the Pixel 3 notch. If the Pixel 3 has a notch, Google's stupid. I'm just gonna flat out say that. If the Pixel 3 has a notch, Google is stupid. Like, it, 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 you, you are going to normally launch later than everyone else. And if you don't take that time to realize 
the feedback from your customers and consumers, it's gonna be such a mess. Uh, let's start drinking. I uh, haven't had any, uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded yet. Um, I bailed on the Asus uh, Zen phone because of the notch, Samsung notch, deal breaker. Notch, no buy. I saw the Samsung pen. I think it's the lower pricer phone. That would be interesting if they would do a low price phone with a notch. I I mean, it, it would be the first one. It's curious. Um, if Samsung uh, still keep the headphone jack while others are removing it, I highly doubt it. That is true. Samsung has kept the headphone jack and I have loved them for that, definitely. Uh, is the Samsung J7 Prime 32 gig a good phone? Um, I would say it sounds like a good phone. I haven't checked out the Prime version yet. I only know the older J7s, uh, but J7s in general are good entry-level smartphones. Why would Samsung give into the notch when you have a uh, infinite display? To me, it seems like going backwards. It is going backwards, actually. I feel that way, at least. I missed the beginning. Notch Samsung, no! Um, is the notch gonna be on the Note 9? Will the Note 9 have stereo speakers? The notch will not be on the Note 9. The notch will not be on the Note 9. You are safe for the Note 9. Uh, however, uh, you will have stereo speakers, uh, so that is definitely gonna be there. Any news on the Honor Note 9? Um, I don't stay too much on top of the Honor series in that regard, so no, no new information on it yet. Yo, need new batteries in your clock behind you. Um, second hasn't moved, uh, isn't moving. Well, Mr. Fender Bender, that is actually on purpose because we always have, oh, I don't have my shirts or anything like that. We always have this thing called Rigsby on the channel and uh, it's always Rigsby 316 on our channel. Um, merch store is in the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's why it always stays, oops, it always stays at 316. So there you go. Um, Phone manufacturers need to do something innovative. They only make small changes every year. I completely agree. S10 better be special for the 10th anniversary phone. I agree. I had a break. I have to break up with Samsung for a while when they got rid of expandable storage only for one year. We made up when the Note 8. I see. Well, I'm glad you guys got back together. Hopefully Samsung will not do you wrong again so you guys can stay together. Here's cross fingers. Um, let's see. Um, how is God of War 4 review coming? I started it today trying to beat the meth addict looking boss. Oh, I remember that guy. Yeah, I, I did finally beat him. Uh, I, I didn't die, but I came so close to dying so many times. Um, yeah, no, uh, I am, I don't know how far I am actually. I have played probably over 20 hours. So yeah, that review will be going up tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I, I've had a lot of fun with it. It's honestly probably one of the best games I've played in a long time. And I'm so interested in the story. I just hope it doesn't flop. Uh, but the story has me so intrigued. So yeah. Um, is there any way to get rid of, uh, any way, I'm sorry, my voice, uh, any way to get rid of, uh, this glance widget on the Pixel 2 without rooting? Um, can you not get rid of it? My Pixel's off, so I'm not sure, but, uh, I'd be surprised if you can't just remove it. Maybe it's, it is actually by default on the Google launcher, so another way without rooting would be to get another launcher. So why are there, why are so many assuming that the Note 8 is going to be uh, obsolete since the S9 came out? Um, it's because power users flipping devices every six months. Uh, the Note 8 is not outdated, I would say, or not definitely not obsolete since the S9 came out. I would say the S9 does easily have a better camera. Easily, it has a better camera. Uh, but the Note 8 is still a great smartphone. I actually, uh, due to your guys' request, I will finally be doing a um, should you still buy it series. 
uh, and that will start off with the Note 8 and kind of like, at this point, should you still buy it? A lot of you guys have asked me like, you know, to re-review or one of those kind of videos and we will be doing that uh, this year. Um, how come the Google Pixel is a better camera than the Note 8? Don't, uh, don't they use same sensor or is it all software? Please explain. I'm sure everyone uses a Sony sensor. Yeah, most people do use a Sony sensor. Um, it is a lot to do with software and also image processors. Uh, image processors are their own processor besides the sensor. So a bunch of things there. So there is some different hardware, uh, but the more importantly is the software. I would say that arguably, because I haven't used the P20 yet, um, the S9 has the best hardware on a smartphone camera. The Pixel over here has the best software on a camera. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the Pixel has the best software on a camera. Uh, so we're actually gonna be testing that out. We're gonna actually put the Pixel camera on here and see how good the photos are even better maybe than just this phone alone. So we're gonna be doing that video this week. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, hey Ricky, uh, anything about the Oreo update for Axon 7? No, I do not have the Axon 7, so I have no news for that. Uh, that phone should be getting it though. No, not Samsung. Ricky, are you going to review any Nokia phones? Um, probably not. They're just not that popular in the U.S., so I don't think I will be reviewing them, and no, Nokia doesn't send us anything, so yeah. Um, uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Those are the rules of the chat, by the way. Um, let's see. Ricky, are you excited about The Incredibles 2? Very excited. I just hope it lives up to the expectations. It's been so long and I'm just like, I haven't cared for the trailers that much. So I'm very curious to see how it goes. I mean, Jack-Jack, I think that dynamic will be fun. Uh, I'm curious if Elastigirl will have like some of the same issues that, um, oh my God, Bob. Bob had in the first one. So it's gonna be curious to see how it all goes down. Have you watched The Quiet Place? I did watch The Quiet Place. I thought, it was exactly what I thought it would be. I wasn't that interested in seeing it. My wife really wanted to see it, so I saw it. Um, so yeah, we saw it. it. It's exactly what I thought it would be. My thing is, I, I don't like scary movies that much anymore. It's not just, it, it's not that, like, I mean, I don't really care for being scared. It, it is what it is, like a good jump, whatever. Uh, but I like thrillers more. For me though, A Quiet Place was just like, I get tired of watching scary movies because all I can do is think of like, why would you do that? What? That's stupid. You you would let your kid do this or you would do this or why would you go in that room? The cliche thing like, why would you go to the noise? Kind of like all that stuff. It's like, I, I, I always think that and it messes me up the experience. So yeah. Um, One plus six Avengers phone equal dope. They should put out an Avengers case theme skin for the 5T. That might be cool to add on. Um, I love the squeeze function on the Pixel 2 XL. I rarely use it, but some people like it. Uh, HTC is supposed to have the second version of it with their new phone, the U12, coming out soon. Um, thank God Google is making a universal chat. Notch, no buy. I will not buy a Samsung phone if it has a notch. Again, I think that it's unanimous, really. Is there any way to find out if my carrier at t is throttling me after I go over 22 gigs? Um, the easiest way is, is after you're over 22 gigs for the month, which you can set your data usage and see as soon as you go over 22 gigs, uh, check your speeds, take a screenshot of before you get like when you're around 20 gigs, then after you pass 22 gigs, check your speeds and then you can see if it's the same or different. Uh, Ricky, do you realize that, uh, it's going to create a massive fragmentation between people and relationships who use basically who use basic message app, right? People's grandmas aren't getting data uh, for anything. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so here's the thing. This text, this chat app still sends regular text messages for those who don't have it. So you're fine. It doesn't matter. It won't create any kind of fragmentation. Um, if 
If the new Google Messenger uses data, they will hurt customers who don't have unlimited plans, uh, have uh, gig um, and have gig packages. Uh, I mean, text messages are even this new style, the RCS, is very tiny packets. Like they're they're not what you guys think in terms of like, oh my god, my data plans are going crazy. Like it, it's not going to be that bad. It's not. I, I understand your guys' concerns. But it's not going to be that bad. The, the, these messages are very small, unless you're sending a lot of photos and videos, which then you would MMS uses data anyway. So, um, they wanted Sammy to lower their display price. It's hard for Apple to uh, realize how good and expensive uh, they are to make. I know they always uh, use LCD, bleh. Uh, but come on, Apple. Yeah, I agree. Uh, hey, just got here. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, a lot. And you sound sick. You good? I am sick. <laughs> uh, that's what you missed. I said I was sick at the beginning of the show. So yeah, I apologize. I've already coughed once or twice, I think. Uh, so I do apologize for that. I will try to wrap up um, at nine just because I'm already feeling it. <clears throat> Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just let Everyone drink. Um. Uh. My Note 8 uh, has has been dark lately. It doesn't seem to adjust with outside light, so I have to manually adjust. It's on auto adjust. Um, how can I fix this? It sounds like your sensor might be broken. You're the sensor that does. Try to cover it up like this and see if it brightens up. If it does, then um, if it does, then maybe it's just weaker to it. Uh, but if it doesn't with doing this, then, um, yeah, you might have a problem. Like my phone will immediately, uh, basically darken the always on display when I have it like that. And then when I take it off, it'll brighten it up. Uh, let's see. One sixteen on the clock. Did I say three sixteen? I might have said three sixteen earlier. I meant one sixteen, and yeah, that's why I'm sick. Um, am I late? What the notch? <laughs> we Oz, that would be a freak. I'm gonna make that a T-shirt. I'm gonna make that a T-shirt. What the notch? Um, that that's hilarious because notch is like a bad word in the tech realm now, especially on my channel. So I think I'm gonna make that t-shirt. What the notch? <laughs> um, does the Snapdragon variant of the Note 8 for the US support two terabyte micro SD card? Yes, it does. Uh, why the difference between the variants? Um, I haven't, as far as I know, the Exynos version does support up to two gigs as well. Or sorry, two gigs, two terabytes. Again, I'm sorry, I'm out of it. Uh, two terabytes as well. Um, I haven't heard of a Samsung smartphone not supporting it since the Note, <laughs> since the, uh, not the Note 7, the, um, the S8? Was it? No, 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 yeah, yeah, the, um, the S7 is when they started supporting two terabytes, if I'm not mistaken, or it was the Note 7. One of those was the first one that started supporting two terabytes, uh, although no one uses two terabytes, so. Avengers always partners with Samsung phones, not OnePlus. Ew, gross. Um, can you have a 3D facial recognition without a notch? Yes, you can. Uh, you can just have it like um, like an infinity display. It The whole point of the notch is to get the corners to have a display, is to have, you know, these corners up here to have a display. But if you don't care about that, then you can just have the sensor still up at the top so yeah um let's see any news on the red camera a uh, phone no um mkbhd will break all that because he's in with them so yeah um playing far cry 5 now oh cool wow playing while watching that's awesome <laughs> um of course, it's like asking if you can have a fingerprint scanner like Huawei on the bot uh, without a bottom notch. Yeah, yeah, you can basically is what he's saying. Um, I haven't played any of the Far Cry games. Looking to Far Cry Five, I've heard it's pretty good. Um, I have not played any of the Far Cry games either, though. I heard they're just good fun. 
Hey Rigsby, uh, can I send you a picture I took on my Note 8 in portrait mode? Q and HD. Look how the depth uh, clarity was. <laughs> uh, Rigsby could do all that easily. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, just you know, um, not on, not available on phones yet. Fingerprint scanner notch. The new notch leader. <laughs> Um, oh my, oh my dear, uh, you feeling well? Um, have you taken something? Yeah, um, uh, taking some stuff, a nasal spray, Sudafed, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, Quiet Place is a very quiet movie. The entire theater goes silent. You, like, you, you, if you don't chew with your mouth closed, you will in that movie. Because if you make a noise, everyone can hear it. Um... I've tried to fix the issue on my Note 8 by re uh, restarting randomly because the, of the Oreo update. I have had no luck. Should I contact support uh, or bring it to a store? Yeah, download the Samsung Plus app and talk to a Samsung technician. Hopefully they can help you out. Um, notches are like cracks uh, in the feeling. In the f are, like, are bad like cracks in the feeling. There is nothing good about notches. I would, I would say, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I agree with you at least. Uh, how do I find out what version of Android my SA Plus is? Um, you go into settings. Now I have the Note, I have the S9, so. You go into settings and then you go under about phone, if I'm not mistaken, that should tell you. Oh, I think that would be it for an S8, but for mine, I have to do one more and then go under software information. And that's where it tells me my Android version is 8.0. Um, let's see. Is there a way to use text messaging without getting overcharged on Verizon? Um, oh, if you're talking about like the unlimited data. Um, I have unlimited data, but restricted text messaging. How can I not get charged for texting? Um, it, it's, it's hard to do without, um, I mean, that will go away next year. That's the good news. Uh, but it's hard to go about it without doing a third party messenger. Like I use Hangouts for most of my friends. Uh, so like my wife, uh, two of my best friends, uh, and um, usually brother, uh, I just use through Hangouts. So basically that's how I message everyone uh, and that only does data. But the problem with Hangouts is, is you have to have their email. So both you have to exchange emails and use that app. So yeah. Um, isn't new Google Messenger like WhatsApp? Yeah, most part. It's just not encrypted like WhatsApp. Um, wrap it up at nine, haha. Ha. It's like 10.45 here in Texas. 9 p.m. my time, Pacific Standard Time. Um, uh, Ricky, did you see the video of, uh, Steph Curry phone, how, uh, came, we didn't get it in the U.S.? I would get it. Uh, I did see the video, uh, by Unbox Therapy. He kind of, uh, I, I, at least he's the only one I know who has it. Uh, yeah, didn't come to the U.S. And yeah, I don't know if it will. I don't think it will, to be honest, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure why it didn't come to the U.S. when he plays in the U.S., you know, it makes only sense, but don't know why. Um, how do I fix the delay in text message notification on the Gear S3 Classic? I don't have a delay in my text messages. Uh, try re try unpairing and repairing and see if that fixes it. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't have a delay in my text messages. What the notch? Good one <laughs> at Quiet Storm. <laughs> Definitely would purchase that shirt. <laughs> uh, will do, thanks. Uh, I meant actually... I meant, can I actually send a picture with the Note 8 portrait because it is off, for lack of a better word. Can you actually send a picture with the Note 8 portrait mode? Yes, you can send, you take a portrait mode photo and then send it, and then it sends that way. If that's what you're asking, or I'm not sure if you're asking something more complex, but you can do that. You can take the photo in portrait mode and then send it through text message or anyway. Um, all proceeds of RSTKY YouTube tech guy ask, <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you, hang out it is. Um, all right guys. 
Can you say hi to me? Hi, Papo. I think that's how you say it. Um, I think I'm going to be wrapping it up, guys. Just I hear my raspiness going up. <clears throat> but yeah, should be coming out with some videos. Um, I had to delay the 10 hidden features about the LGV30. I know I promised that one, but just had to delay it. So, um, hopefully I'll get that out this upcoming week. Got a lot of cool new stuff, more tech out the house stuff. Again, we'll, we'll be testing out the, uh, video on, um, on should you still buy the phone, uh, A, B, or C kind of thing and go over different phones. Uh, so yeah. I went to look at the specific picture I took. I'm shopping for the best laptop possible. What would you recommend? Uh, one of the best, it depends on what you're using it for. That's the main thing. I actually just got um, Dell Outlets, um, had a really good sale. So I got the 2017 uh, Dell XPS 13 for my wife. Um, so I just got her that one. So that's a pretty uh, nice one, I would say. Um, i7 processor, 256 gig solid state drive, eight gigs of RAM, perfect for everything she needs. Uh, in a really good looking and nice lightweight laptop. Um, it's one of, Dell XPS 13 is one of the best ones out there for um, all day kind of battery life and really good quality. Uh, LG Gram would be another one to rival that one. But overall, it depends if you're doing video editing or photo editing. Like for me, I am, so I needed a graphics card in mine. Uh, I had, I ended up getting a Samsung because I had an S Pen so I can sign document. I can have people sign documents right then and there with it. So that's what made the most uh, sense to me. Um, do you use VPN and which one do you like? I use Opera VPN for uh for my phones and i have used tunnel bear in the past for my uh, uh regular vpn on my computer but since mcafee bought them i probably won't be using that anymore um what would you like to see in the note 9 i did a video actually that on the five uh must have features on the note 9 check that one out uh, because I go in depth on each feature and why it would be important and why it would make the phone sell like crazy if it had all five features. Um, I was thinking that I was thinking about the Gear S3. Was wondering about the storage on the watch. The storage on the watch is about um, <clears throat> the storage on the watch is about a little under two gigs if I'm not mistaken. But I do not remember of how much actual free storage space out of the four gigs you have. Uh, should I build a computer or buy a gaming laptop? Um, I mean, building a computer will be better overall performance. I, uh, I built almost all of mine in the past. The last one I didn't, I just bought an Alienware with uh, really good specs. It was like $400 off on sale during Black Friday. Uh, but that, that's, um, that's the first one I've bought in a while. Everything else I've built. Uh, gaming laptop though, I mean, the laptop is going to be a lot more expensive for gaming than a desktop would be. Um... With a thousand, a thousand five hundred budget, yeah. I mean, you're talking about a thousand five hundred. You can pretty much rock any uh, desktop um, with, you know, getting closer to a 1080 graphics card. Um, so it's much better comparing to a laptop. You're getting a 1060 most likely or 1050. <clears throat> when will the notch hit Samsung? Uh, it's it's again. It's, it was a patent, so typically patents either never come out or it's usually one year before or two years before. So it could be on next year's S10. Uh, hopefully not though. What do you think about the Note 5 in 2018? Again, I think it's a good one, uh, but um, is it due for an upgrade? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, you're talking about a four year old phone at this point. Um, so yeah, I, I would say when the Note 9 would come out, it might not be a bad idea to get that one. Uh, when will the new Samsung watch come out? It'll come out with the Note 9, uh, most likely in September. All right. All right, guys, I think I will call that a show just because my throat's getting worse as I keep going. So hopefully you guys liked the show. If you did, please give a like thumbs up before you head out. Thank you again always for watching. I will try to get more videos up for you as soon as my throat clears up. Thank you guys as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. 
and right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.